girls, it's time to look at a new color. What color is that? Yes, it is the color black, and it is the outline or the shape of a cat. So our poem says, black, black, a black cat. It walks to the corner and then walks back. And here is our word, black. It starts with a B. It has a BL, like at the beginning of blue. But if you go all the way through it, there's a K at the end, black. So let's try our poem again. Black, black, a black cat. It walks to the corner and then walks back. Black, then walks back. It's a tongue twister. And if you look at my shirt today, I'm wearing black. And here is our sight word, black. B-L-A-C-K, black. And here is a book for us to read together today. Harry, the Dirty Dog. The author is Jean Zion. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took off with the scrubbing brush. My dog does not like getting a bath either. When we talk about a bath, Bailey runs and hides. He played where they were fixing the street and he got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. Oh, they're all looking very dirty. He slid down a cold chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? They don't even know it's him. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them that he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and he played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook his head and said, oh no, that couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and he walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed with the family following close behind. I wonder where he's going. Oh. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with a scrub brush in his mouth, a trick that he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother get him one? They still don't know it's Harry. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush that he had hidden under his pillow. So he took a bath that day, but he does not plan on taking another one. So he hid the brush under his pillow. All right, let's quickly go through these sight words after reading our story. We finished all our colors for this week. Purple, yellow, brown, blue, orange, red, white, green, and here's our color for
for today, black. All right, boys and girls, be sure that you are practicing your sight words at home. See you soon.